Hey church, welcome to day 27 of uh, prayer and fasting month. I hope it's going well for you. Hang on in there just a couple more days. I uh, hope it's been amazing and enriching for you. Uh, whatever you've been giving up, whatever you've been sacrificing and making space for God and prayer, I uh, hope it's going to be amazing fruit uh, in your life as well as in the life of our church. And uh, I just really want to lean into Luke 19 verse 31. Uh, verse 41, sorry. And um, this was when, uh, after Jesus had done his triumphant entry, we've had Palm Sunday, okay? The crowds have been waving the leaves and cheering, Hosanna, Hosanna, here comes Jesus, he's amazing. And it's the moment when Jesus then sees Jerusalem. And he just has this amazing moment where it says, um, this is Luke 19, 41, it says, as Jesus approached Jerusalem, he saw the city and he wept over it. And as just this weight that Jesus carried as he went to the cross. Um, I don't know about you, if it was me, uh, and everyone's cheering and waving, I would have been like, hey, that's right, here I am, Messiah, ready to save everyone. Um, but Jesus didn't get lost in the praise of the crowd. Um, he knew that within a week, that same crowd could turn like that. But what he saw was a city that was lost. And he actually says, he did not that, talking about Jerusalem, they did not recognize the time of God's coming to them. And uh, his heart broke, he wept. And um, I'm here in the auditorium in Manchester campus, as you can see, it's uh, empty. Um, and it's all ready for uh, Sunday. And uh, I really want us to lean in and pray for our Easter weekend services across all our campuses. Uh, we're believing for our auditoriums to be full. Uh, we're believing for um, our cities that are lost, that don't recognize the time of God coming to them, don't know what will bring them peace. That's another thing Jesus said, know what will bring them peace. And we're believing for our cities uh, to fill our auditoriums. And we're going to see such an incredible um, salvation we're believing for, a massive harvest, uh, especially over this uh, Easter season that's uh, upon us. Um, uh, we've got the big invitational event happening in all our campuses uh, on Easter weekend in just a few weeks' time, which is going to be great. But our challenge is now to play our part, to actually uh, walk across the room, uh, have the invite, have the ask, uh, those relationships and conversations that have been building, they're building to this point of actually coming into the presence of God and finding salvation, uh, which is going to be amazing. Uh, so I really want us to pray into that this morning or whenever you find yourself uh, watching this. Uh, first thing I want us to pray about is that I want us to pray about the prayer walks and flyering that have been happening this weekend. Uh, we've had groups all over the place that have been delivering uh, flyers and praying over the families that are in our city, uh, in exactly where we live. Um, and we just pray that God would open the hearts and minds um, to the gospel for those. And those seeds would just fall on good soil. Second thing I want us to pray for, I want us to pray into your world. People in your world who don't know Jesus yet. If it's your family, your neighbors, your work colleagues, I want to pray for salvation, a true revelation of who Jesus is. Maybe this Easter season is when that one person in your family or workplace is going to find salvation. So we really want to pray into that, which would be great. Um, third thing I want us to pray for is I want to pray for the Love Your World local events that are happening in the next couple of time. We've got an invite strategy. Uh, so we're going to be, uh, over the next couple of weeks, doing litter picking and knocking on doors and inviting people to come to church. So we just really want to pray for incredible fruit from that. We pray for amazing conversations. We want to pray for prayer uh, to be happening on doorsteps and in people's gardens and all over the place and ultimately we want to see people all over our city impacted uh, as we do this social action stuff uh, and invite people to church and that is going to be amazing and then last of all fourthly I want us to pray right into the Easter weekend uh, we got services going we've got invites going all over the city all over our cities really believing for incredible breakthrough of salvation uh, believing for hundreds, hundreds 
to make a decision for Jesus this uh, on our Easter weekend. So let's pray into that, that there'll just be an absolute faith connection. Uh, and yeah, I, um, I wanted to film this uh, on the top, across from my house at the top of, uh, there's a little hill that I go up to pray. And um, you can see out over our city, it's an amazing thing. And I'm just thinking, if we can capture that heart that Jesus had for his city, that had for Jerusalem, that represented all of our cities. Uh, if we could capture that same heart, um, let's capture that heart for our city uh, and pray into this and believe for incredible salvation coming up across our city and in our campuses over this Easter season. Amazing. Lives are going to be changed uh, and God is going to be declared. I just believe that as we lift him up, he will draw all men unto himself. Let's do it. Let's pray, Audacious Church.